How's it going YouTube? This is my rocket stove I built. I had seen a lot of videos online uh, about building a rocket stove so I decided to build my own and put my own little spin on it. And basically you can see what I used is I used two barrels. I actually kept the ring so I can actually take the ring off and I can take the top off it to do a clean out on it if necessary. What I have on it right now is my pellet feeder, which on my pellet hopper is a little small. It was just kind of a makeshift one to try it out, but I'm in the process of right now of making a new one. As you can see, the pellet hopper comes off pretty easy. You just pull it off. My biggest way I wanted to change this when I made it was I wanted to make my actual burn chamber build up, actually come off it. As you can see, there is an eight inch plate and I have eight bolts on it, which I can remove, and I can take this whole assembly right off, which I can do a clean out inside, or if I wanted to, I could build a new one and be able to switch them out if I wanted to. You see down here, like I'm burning pellets or wood, all I gotta do is unscrew this and that way I can light the pellet basket with a torch down here I have my ash clean out just flip that over and that pops up little cobwebs in there it's been sitting out in the garage here for a while flip that down close it up now uh, this is one thing I wanted to do a little bit different I've seen so many different ones uh, the burn chambers now I have two nuts I can put on here to tighten this down so I don't have them on there right now but basically all I gotta do to clean my pellet basket out is basically just pop this off you see here's my pellet basket that's actually stainless steel I use for the basket. Look down inside there, and I do have a, a grate down there. Uh, right now I actually have the wood burning grate. I do have a smaller grate, it has, just has holes drilled down in it for the pellets. See down in there. install that back and the one thing I did too I've never really seen too many people do is my legs on my stove on the bottom I actually welded a nut inside the square tubing and used the bolt on the bottom for a leg so no matter where I put this in my home or my shop I can adjust the legs on it and always get it level and I added a thermometer for it like I said I'm gonna do a new pellet hopper it was just like a temporary one just to try to see if the idea was gonna work sorry about the garage I'm in the process of moving Now one thing I did do different in the back is I do only have a four inch exhaust. Which, you know, honestly, it does work good. Like, I probably get 650, 700 degrees out of the stove, which is plenty to the, the heat with. I see a lot of people got stoves that, you know, burn in 1200 degrees. And, you know, for me, that's a little 
that's a little too much um, I am in the process of building a new batch box that's actually gonna have the same setup as this which I'll be able to remove this and install the new batch box which is gonna be it's a pretty big batch box it's gonna hold more wood which will be nice because if I want to burn pellets all I gotta do is unbolt that and then bolt this system right back into it um, in another video I will show you how I did the other side or how I did the inside of it, how I insulated my riser tube. But if there's any questions or any suggestions anybody has for me, uh, definitely feel free to leave a comment. Uh, I'll try to answer any questions I possibly can. But I'm, I'm actually very happy how this came out. A lot of trial and error. I'm a fabricator by trade, so this I figured I'd try to make one. I just wanted to see if I could, because I love welding and building stuff. But yeah, like I said, if you guys have any comments or ideas I could do with this stove, uh, just leave a comment. Thank you very much, and have a good day.